Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. Matthew 7 and 7 reads, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. See, those are words of our Lord, given as part of the seminal message, defining his mission, delivered in the Sermon on the Mount. Perhaps the greatest single aspect of that wonderful message is that it is God inviting his children into a closer relationship with him than had been possible since the days of Adam in his pristine garden. It was natural for sons and daughters to look to their parents for their wants and needs, hopes and dreams. Even though a father knows all the needs of his children, they do not hesitate to continually ask with their mouths, seek with their eyesight, or knock with their hands. These are the primary tools with which God has equipped us to manage our lives, and He is pleased when our first reach with them, oral, visual, tactile, is to Him. He wants to share and lead in the stuff and substance of our lives. He answers in kind with speaking, displaying, and touching all revelations of Himself which are given, found, and opened. Speaking, displaying, and touching are the language of familiarity. We will never be so casual with strangers. Asking is not demanding. The verb Jesus used in preaching means to request from a superior. As beloved sons and daughters of God, siblings of our big brother Jesus, it's not difficult to place God as our superior, just as we would not make our wishes known to a deeply reverenced parent with insolence and forcefulness. So we couch our prayers with the understanding that although we are heard instantly, we are speaking with someone both wise and omniscient. On the other hand, since Christ is our mediator, we can approach God confidently and boldly. God's answering promises to asking, seeking, knocking, or receiving, finding, having doors open. The word the Lord used for receiveth is in a present tense, which places the emphasis on God's giving in this present life. Although the promise of the world to come is not excluded from the covenant, to ponder the spiritual vistas being opened to us by the promise of reward for using our eyes to seek the mysteries of God is to gaze into the vastness of eternity. There are things the prophets and wise men of the Old Testament, devout souls all, greatly desired to grasp, but which were hidden from them. Before us lies the opportunity of spiritual vision into the reasons for our existence, the methods and reasons for God's dealings, the ways of angels and spirits, the truths of the Bible, and the understanding of human hearts. Moreover, we have access not only to the understanding, but also to the passions of love, peace, and joy that are necessarily a part of these visions. Knocking is an action that is repeated. Surely the Lord's message is that when we seek God, pray, and fasting for the doors to open into deliverance from our battles, answers to our needs, victory over our temptations, there is wonderful reward in patiently, persistently coming time and again to Him. Paul prayed three times for deliverance from his thorn in the flesh and received an answer that has reverberated in Christian souls in all the centuries since. My grace is sufficient for thee. Did he receive it the first time he prayed and then hear the same message twice more repeated as he pressed his case? Whether that be true or not, at last it was so powerful and vivid to him as to furnish an answer at any time the unnamed thorn came again to his mind. Do you have a battle, brother? Take it to the Lord, and even if the heavens seem brass over your head, don't despair. Come again. Come tomorrow. Come as needed. Our Heavenly Father hears not only the articulated prayer of the lips, He hears the cry of the Spirit. Nowhere in this passage does Jesus speak of a way of approaching God to which He refuses an answer. As Habakkuk said, though it tarry, wait for it, because it surely will come, it will not tarry. We adults know our children's request cannot always be granted immediately. It's so in our seeking God. Have you talked to him today? You have been listening to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at g-o-d-s-f-i-v-e minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.
God's Word speaks truth. God's Word speaks life. And God's Word speaks to us today. Hi, I'm Pastor John Marins of the Granby Christian Church. Each week we explore God's Word together on In the Shadow of Your Wings, a radio broadcast on KNEO. Tune in each Saturday at 6.45 p.m. to hear the show. And if you ever miss it, you can always view the archive online at kneo.org. We also have the program available as a podcast as well, so you can listen anytime, anywhere. It's available from Sky High Podcast Network. I invite you to check out the show and learn more about our incredible God and how He cares for you. You can trust Him. You can depend on Him, and you can rest in the shadow of His wings. 